Come, O oh, come, great Lord of might, who to your tribes on Sinai side in ancient times once gave the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Excuse me. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O rod of Jesse's stem, from every tribe deliver them. That trust your mighty power to save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on the second Tuesday, or on the Tuesday of the second week of Advent. We also celebrate today St. Nicholas, a bishop and a man who had great love for people. As we gather and continue our Advent journey, let us ask the Lord to allow his light to break through the darkness of our world and to bring us eternal hope. Let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord. Protect us in all dangers through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas, that the way of salvation may lie open before us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in a wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain shall be made low, the rugged land shall be made a plain, and the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. I answer, What shall I cry out? All flesh is grass, and all their glory like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then, the people is the grass. Though the grass withers and flower wilts, the word of our God stands forever. Go up unto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out, says the city of Judah. Here is your God. He comes with power, the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is the re his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In the arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying in them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord our God comes with power. The Lord our God comes with power. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. The Lord our God comes with power. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord our God comes with power. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful in all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. 
The Lord our God will come with power. They shall exalt before the Lord, for here he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord our God comes with power. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, he comes to save us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, Will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. that great prophet of hope, Isaiah. What beautiful words he speaks to the people of God. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Your guilt is expediated. You receive from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. So now the Lord is saying that his punishment is over. And now to give those people, the remnant, those that remain faithful, to give them that hope of a new reality, of once again being called the chosen of God. But you know when we listen to that new reality that God speaks to us about, it says to make straight in the wasteland a highway to our God. Every valley will be filled in. Every mountain and hill would be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. And so in many ways what happens is everything will be evened out. All of the highs and the lows, the peaks and the valleys, all will be leveled out for the glory of God. God makes all of us equal. And the glory of the God, the Lord, shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. What a beautiful vision, I believe, that Isaiah paints for those who are faithful to God. When all of the faithful will see the glory of God as we are given comfort from the worries, the anxieties, the difficulties of this life. And I think in many ways the gospel truly reflects this when it reminds us that in the same way it is not the will of your heavenly father that one of these little ones be lost. That God desires all of us to live in the glory of his kingdom, to live in heaven. That should give us comfort. That should give us hope. That should also give us the courage and the strength to turn away from our sins and to walk in God's presence and love. We need to acknowledge our need before God and humbly offer Him our prayers. For the Holy Father, for all bishops and priests who shepherd the church, May God draw them ever closer to him as they lead his beloved flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders throughout the world, may God give them hearts of compassion and courage in dedicating themselves in service to all that they need. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer for our own nation, that there be an end to useless killings and hatred, and that we respect human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are ill, for their healing, whether it's spiritual, physical, emotional. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died. May they rejoice forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for your needs, your intentions, that we bring to our God today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We unite all of these prayers into one. We lift them up to our Father. We pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Gracious God, your plans and desires for each of us are far more than, far more than we could imagine. In confidence, we place these needs before you. Hear and answer them. We make this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O come, O ye of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close the path to misery. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, O day spring from on high, and cheer us by your drawing nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadow put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel.